It's clear that passengers are not seeing enough benefits. Last year's record delays and cancellations have forced the hand of rail watchdogs. The rail regulator has criticised Network Rail for what it calls systemic failings. Punctuality has hit a 15-year low. Between April and October last year, more than a million trains were late and over 300,000 were actually cancelled. As a result, Network Rail could face multi-million pound fines. The government said it is investing around £48 billion over the next five years, giving passengers the reliable, punctual service they deserve. It started an independent rail review, looking particularly at how the tracks and trains could work better together. And that is long overdue. The timetable crisis we saw in the summer, the continual fare rises, the ongoing performance problems, the £10 billion that us passengers are putting into the industry every year through our fares, it's not producing a good enough railway at the end of the day, therefore you've got to have this review. What we want to see out of the rail review is a more streamlined structure for managing the network with less fragmentation and specifically we want to see more responsibilities for running the North Rail network in the North rather than having a rail network that's remotely controlled from Whitehall because we believe that will lead to much better decisions being made. To many, the railways feel chaotic and disorganised. Too much money has been spent on the wrong things, on projects not properly thought through or not delivered. Passengers are paying a much greater proportion of the day-to-day -day costs, but getting a poor service has become as predictable as a New Year hangover. There are so many big challenges in our rail system. You've got to sort out the tracks, you've got to sort out the trains, you've got to work out what your passengers are and aren't travelling, all that modelling, all those other changes. You've got a lot of complex moving parts and the problems of the past, I'm afraid, are coming home to roost. We're at the end of the line on this one. There's got to be fundamental change. Otherwise, we'll be sitting here again in five years' time saying we've just had another crisis. Nobody wants that. The country can't afford it. Passengers can't afford it.